Hey guys, so every year for Accessibility Awareness Day, Apple shares with us a preview of some of the latest accessibility features coming to iPhone and iPads, and this year is no different. So today, Apple has officially shared a quick preview of some of the latest new accessibility features that will be coming to the iPhone and iPad later this year with iOS 18 and iPadOS 18, and I wanted to share those with you guys in today's video, so let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first feature I wanna talk about is eye tracking. Yes, eye tracking will be coming to the iPhone and the iPad later this year with iPadOS 18 and iOS 18. Apple mentions that this feature will be powered by artificial intelligence, AI. Now with eye tracking, a user will be able to navigate through elements of an application and use dual controls to activate each element, accessing additional functions such as physical buttons, swipes, and other gestures just by simply using their eyes. And this is an awesome new accessibility feature, again, coming to the iPhone and the iPad later this year. You'll be able to use your eyes to navigate your iPhone. Now, another great new feature announced today by Apple is Music Heptics. So basically, this allows your iPhone to provide you taps and vibrations when listening to music. Obviously, this is going to be an accessibility feature for those hard at hearing to enjoy music on their iPhones. Now, this is going to be using Apple Music. You see here on the platter for the lock screen there for the music controls, we have the music heptic icons right there, as you can see. Now, when you enable this feature again, you'll be able to feel taps and vibrations according to the music. This is going to be available for millions of songs in Apple Music catalog. So yeah, a really cool new feature, although I'm not the target audience for this one, I think I'm going to be trying it out. So again, at Music Heptics, a new way to experience music with Apple Music will be coming later this year to the iPhone as Apple has just announced this feature. Next, I wanna talk about shortcuts on your iPhone. Apple has announced today a new vocal shortcuts feature that will be coming to the iPhone right here, which allows you to use your voice to execute a shortcut on your device. So with vocal shortcuts, you'll be able to choose an action or record a phrase on your iPhone in order to teach your iPhone to recognize your voice and execute and or launch a shortcut using your voice. So this is obviously, again, another accessibility feature coming to the shortcuts application on your iPhone where you'll be able to teach your iPhone to recognize your voice and you can use any custom phrase and things like that, as you can see right there. Very similar to personal voice, which is a feature announced last year with iOS 17. So yeah, this feature is basically now coming to the shortcuts on your iPhone. Again, this is gonna be vocal shortcuts. Now I wanna go ahead and talk about a vehicle motion cues. This is a brand new experience for iPhone and iPad users that can help reduce motion sickness on a moving vehicle for passengers. Now with this motion cue, animated dots on the edges of the screen represents the changes on the vehicle's motion to help reduce that motion sickness. So if you ever tried to read an article while someone is driving and you're the passenger and then you look up and you have that motion sickness or you get out of the vehicle and then you feel sort of dizzy, this will help reduce that motion sickness. So with these animated dots on the edges of the screen, you'll be able to notice those changes in the actual vehicle's motion and motion cue will help reduce those motion sickness. Again, another accessibility feature coming to the iPhone and iPad later this year. Now, the next feature I want to talk about is called hover typing. Now this shows a larger text overlaid as you can see right there overlaid this text field which you can use any color or any font for. So when you're typing away if you have hard time seeing the actual font in the light or dark colors in the background when you're typing you can set this accessibility feature this hover typing to overlay on the screen and show you larger text and you can choose the font of your choice and the color of the actual background in order to see that text a little better so when you're typing away, you have the ability to actually see what you're typing if you have problems seeing text up close and things of that nature. So yeah, a lot of great new accessibility features coming this year to the iPhone and iPad. Keep in mind that CarPlay will also get voice controls, also sound recognition and color filters as well. So iOS 18 shaping up to be a great accessibility updates for users. Let me know what you think about these latest accessibility new features that Apple has just announced. Thank you for watching this one and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.